It was a missing persons case that captivated the nation. A California woman missing in Panama and an ex-Marine from Vista named the person of interest. Joining me now is the victim's sister, Michelle Faust. Michelle, thank you so much for joining us here on Primetime. So let's talk about your sister, Yvonne Baldali. She disappeared in 2011 in Panama. And yesterday you received notice that Brian Brimiger was arrested. Yeah. Tell me where, where, where you were. I was actually at work and my mom sent me a text and said they, they got him, you know, and that was, it was shocking. It kind of took me out of my <laughs> concentration and focus yeah. of what I needed to do that morning. Um, but I made arrangements right away to get to the courthouse and I made it just in the nick of time to watch the arraignment and it was satisfying to watch it. It was upsetting to see him. Um, it was upsetting to be in the situation, but it's something we've been waiting a long time for. The problem is now, you know, we've got the long marathon ahead of us of, of what the trial is going to be. And this is not right now the arrest. It's for um, it's not for murder. It's not for murder. It's right. obstruction of justice. So um, we're hoping that a murder trial will follow. And what is uh, the family's reaction to that, to those charges? Well, we're very grateful mm -hmm. for the FBI doing what they can and doing their investigations both in the United States and helping with the DIJ, the Panamanian Federal Police, with their investigation down in Panama. Um, I'm glad that they found something, right? They, uh, most of the evidence that we have is very circumstantial, but it's very strong. So um, we're happy that they found what they found and that they're going forward in whatever they have. So let's talk about the relationship between Brian and Yvonne. Did you have any indication that there was um, abuse or was there anything suspicious about his character? Well, um, I know that family here in Southern California ob ob observed him being unkind to her, insulting her, um, talking to other women in front of her in an inappropriate way. Um, I know that some people did ex at least see signs of physical abuse, bruises and, and whatnot. A lot of people told her to leave him and, and she just refused to. In Panama, it got much worse. When they went down there, everyone saw him openly beating her in public. Um, I was just telling a story recently about um, my father heard from a water taxi, because around there you have to get around a water sure. taxi. The water taxi driver said that he was just beating her in his boat and the water taxi driver stopped they don't usually get involved in people's mm -hmm. business. He, t he stopped, he turned around, he looked at him, and he says, if you hit her one more time, you're going to have to deal with me. While she was in Panama, did Yvonne ever reach out to you and explain you know, what was happening? Did she mention if she was happy? Was she enjoying her time there? When she first went down there, she was very happy. Mm -hmm. um, when things were not, and she's a very bubbly, positive person, so when things were not working out quite as well, she, she didn't share that with, with many people. Um, she kept that close to the vest, but a lot of people there know that it, there was quite chaos and, and a lot of violence. And you told me that you actually went to Panama once um, she disappeared. What was that experience like for you? What did the people there say about what, you know, their relationship? Did they talk about Yvonne? Did they mention that she was happy? Everyone loves Yvonne. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks Yvonne is a beautiful, bubbly, fun person. And everyone down there experienced that with her. Um, we went down there um, right away. My parents went down there as soon as we realized that we were getting false information. People impersonating Yvonne was not Yvonne. As soon as we realized that that was not happening, we went down there and we followed up and we figured out what was going on. We went and spoke with authorities in Panama, in Costa Rica over the phone, um, and here in the United States. And what do you think happened in Panama? Um, I, I couldn't speculate to exactly what happened. I know that there was extremely violent, abusive, domestic situation, and she's dead now. Um, he's the only one who knows what happened to her, and hopefully he'll come forward and be honest. And have, has he had a chance to speak in court? Um, he'll, he'll have a chance very soon. He chose to uh, plead not guilty yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I don't believe that that's honesty. Is there anything that you would want to say to him at this point? I don't think I would want to speak to him mm -hmm. um, myself. I just hope that he would um, make the right decision and tell the truth. I, my right now, I'm very concerned. I understand that he has two children with a new woman that he got together with right away when he came back. Um, I worry for her safety and the safety of her children. I, I'm very concerned um, that that family doesn't realize the danger that she could be in. Okay, and you brought a picture of your sister here. If we could just turn this over, turn this around and then show people here. 
Anything else that you want to say, Michelle? You can look at that smile and you know everything. You know how happy and wonderful she was. That's the way she always was. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much for joining us here on Primetime. We'll be right back.